Some of you have been asking me if uh, there are universities that are open for spring 2022 in Poland. And I have been saying that you have to be patient, all right? Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching today. Like I said earlier on, or like I have been uh, replying some of your comments, that you have to be patient with the video request that you are bringing up, all right? Because it's getting too much for me to handle, all right? There are a lot of videos I have to make for you all to enjoy. So now, um, I am talking about Poland today. Some international students actually ask if there are possibilities for them to study, to start studies by February or March 2022 in Poland. And it happens to be that I have gotten information in this video only for master's degree students, all right? So if you intend to study a master's degree in Poland, stay tuned to this video and make sure you watch till the end, all right? Because only here I'm going to be talking about some of these things now. Now, the university I'm going to be talking about is the Poznan University of Technology, all right? This university is found in the city of Poznan and it is uh, one of those top universities in Poland as well, all right? So if you intend to study a program in uh, MSc, that is uh, Masters in Poland come 2022, Make sure you follow this video because there are a lot of things I want to mention and it happens to be a, a, a science university, all right? The programs that are in this university range from architecture to so many other programs like engineering. So now the application deadline is almost close, all right? I mean at the University of uh, Poznan University of Technology, spring intake of 2022 is almost close. So if you must study in this school, you have to apply as fast as possible, all right? Do not wait, wait more time. Do not waste more time, okay? So now, you have to understand that, uh, well, the, pop, uh, the studies involves international students and Polish citizens. But what I'm going to be talking about here, or what I will focus on is for you internationals, all right? Because you guys are going to be studying in English, or us will be studying in English, and uh, the Polish citizens will be studying in the Polish language, which is not our concern. So I will be talking based only on international students here. And now, for you to study at the Poznan University of Technology, you have to understand that the electronic registration for candidates is from the 15th of September 2021, which has already passed, all right? The electronic registration, that is, you go to the link of the university, you create a portal, all right? That was from the 15th of September. Then the electronic registration for candidate, that is end of the electronic registration, is the 30th of November, all right? Which means that you still have few more days to go, all right? From the day you will be watching this video, you still have few more days to go if you want to apply for a master's degree in Poland. And if you happen to find a program in this university, which I'm going to give you the programs that this school offers, all right? Because you can't study a BSc, there is no possibility to study a BSc come February 2022 at Poznan University of Technology. Now, on the 31st of January 2022, that is when the results, the publication of accepted students will be known, all right? That is when admissions, let me say the electronic registration, the online registration, that is what I mean by electronic. It ends on the 30th of November, which is the 30th of this month. Then on the 31st of January, you are going to know if actually you have been selected to study a program at Poznan University of Technology in Poland. Now, there are requirements for you to apply to this school, but before I move to the requirements, let me first of all give you the programs available, all right? They have about 12 different programs, but the ones I will be listing here or giving you are just some few examples, okay? Now, for you to study at Poznan University of Technology, you should have a program that relates to any of these fields. First, one, MSc in Electronic and Telecommunication, MSc in Architecture, MSc in Robotics, MSc in Chemical Technology, MSc in Computing, MSc in Engineering Management, MSc in Mechatronics, MSc in Logistics, and MSc in Transport and Sustainable Transport, okay? So these are some of the few programs in case you want to study a master's um, program at Poznan University of Technology, you can choose within these programs. Make sure your background is something that relates to any of these fields, okay, before you choose a master's program. Because don't go to don't go and start applying for a program in any university that doesn't really relate to your master's. I hope you understand what I mean. Now, 
For you to apply to any of these programs, that these are the MSc programs found at Poznan University of Technology, you have to produce some documents, and the documents I'm going to be giving you differs a little bit for that of masters, all right? First of all, I will start with the master's degree documents because these programs relate only to masters. I hope you understand. Now, if you must apply for any of the programs, you need to show uh, your BSc diploma, all right? You need to show your diploma, and this diploma, you have to legalize the diploma, all right? Where do you do the legalization? You either take the documents to the Polish embassy and you legalize them, or you take them to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in your home country or external relations, you legalize them. Then later on, when you apply for the visa, when you go to Poland, or when you are about to go to Poland, before you legalize them at the Polish embassy. I hope you understand. You also need transcripts of record for your BSc, all right? This is in case you want to apply for a master's degree program at Poznan University of Technology. You need a transcript of records because only your transcript is going... Is going to tell the exams committee or the selection committee that this person actually studied this course this course and this course all right i hope you understand then you also need a certificate of english proficiency or english uh, certificate of english which is equivalent to you have to show at least a b2 qualification now from what i know is that most polish universities will not really focus their mind on the English proficiency test, the IELTS, the TOEFL, or Cambridge, or whatsoever one, all right? So the English, especially when you come from an English-speaking country, but if you are coming from a French country or a country where the language of instruction is not English in schools or a country where English is not the first spoken language, you have the right to prove that you haven't uh, been studying or uh, speak uh, or let me say study in English language. I hope you understand. So that is what you need to know. Then again, you need your passport page, data page. The page I mean by data page here is the page that shows your face, your date of birth, your the city you were born, and your expiring date of your passport. All right, that is the page I'm talking about. You also need a curriculum vitae. A curriculum vitae is a CV. All right, you need to show a CV to the admissions board to know what and what you have been studying or doing in your life again you need a portfolio a portfolio now is only going to relate to students who want to study architecture all right it doesn't if you are not applying for architecture at Poznan university of technology forget about the portfolio all right so these are the documents you need for master's degree and of course if there is an application fee which i'm not very certain you have to also pay the application fee most schools in poland will charge you 85 zoty why most some other schools like the University of Warsaw, I think, will charge you 100 or 200 euros plus. Why some others like the University of Vistula will charge you 200 dollars or euros, all right? So you have to know some of these things before you start the application. Now, for bachelor's degree students, you may not have a program that is starting in spring 2022, but in case you are applying for a program that is starting in winter 2022, all right, these are the documents you need. You need your YX certificate if you are coming from Nigeria. You need your ordinary levels and your advanced level certificate if you are coming from a country like Cameroon or any other country in Africa that um, always writes by the GC and advanced level examinations. All right, remember these documents, you have to legalize them at the Polish Embassy or the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Then when you are about to apply for the visa, you now go legalize the documents at the Polish Embassy in case you were not opportune to legalize them before applying for the school. I hope you take note of this, okay? Then after the, 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 the your documents, your high school documents, you also need a CV, all right? A CV that is for BSc students. You also need a CV to apply for a program at Poznan University of Technology. When it's time, you are going to see the list of programs that are available for BSc students or for students like you or a BSc student, all right? So that is what you should understand. Do not forget the deadline. The deadline is almost at the corner, so you need to apply as fast as possible, okay, so that you secure your position. Again, when you have applied for this university, remember I said the results will be published January 31st, 2022, all right? Then lectures start at the end of February, so and early March, all right? So if you get an admission at this particular school, you have to start lectures, let's just say March, all right? So start preparing yourself while you apply. If you don't know how much you need, all right, just prepare yourself between three point, let me say 
three thousand dollars plus all right because remember when you get admissions you are going to pay first tuition deposit at Poznan University of Technology before you can apply for the visa. I hope you are understanding what I am saying, all right? I'm trying to say. Now, again, do not also forget that you have to apply for a visa. And for you to apply for a visa to Poland, you need what is called a bank statement or proof of funds. Now, it may be a bank statement or whatever, but I'm not going to talk more about that. I have three videos about that already on this particular YouTube channel. Please check the videos and you watch them so that you can know all right if you are using a bank account or a sponsorship letter or a credit card or whatsoever means all right i hope you understand so that is the information i had for you today know that at poznan university of technology in poznan poland you can study a bsc a, a, an msc program come uh, spring semester or spring 2022 which the lectures is going to start by at least the end of february early march i hope this video helps you if it does please do not go without subscribing as we usually do it is a tradition please subscribe now just click that little subscribe button beneath this video and you turn on the notification notification bell so that when i post a new one like this you will be the first to watch don't also forget that i am also aware of what is happening at the polish embassy in abuja but i have nothing to say my hands are so clear i can't do anything remember these things concerns diplomatic missions all right but i would suggest that you keep trying you keep trying to get an appointment if your grades are not good always know where you want to go if you must apply for finland know that you Admissions is starting anytime from January, all right, and it's highly competitive and the duration of application is very short. I'm going to come up with a video about that to talk about this application procedure in Finland. Again, there is another video I will talk about that uh, application period for Luxembourg, all right, because the procedures are gradually changing. Even right now, the University of Luxembourg had imposed a 50 euros administrative fee which was not there before so you have to be careful and act fast all right act fast as fast as possible international students pay attention to the deadline at Poznan university of technology remember your documents must be legalized remember you need an english proficiency in case you are coming from a non-english speaking country or a country where you were not taught in english language i hope you understand thank you so much for watching today until we meet in another video bye